This video, we're going to be looking at the initial impressions and setup of the M2 MacBook Air in gaming. So I played a full game of League of Legends and also played it on Discord. I was also setting up the computer with uh, kind of downloading various content for normal usage. So this video is going to be covering that. Also downloaded productivity suites such as Microsoft Office, WebEx, stuff of that nature. And then I'm going to be talking about kind of what I saw from the battery life after setting it up. So let's jump right into it. Triple right here. I told you. I called it. I called it. Oh my god. Wow, dude. Why didn't you tell me there's someone still alive, bro? Bah. All right, that's going to go on the content. It's going to go on the channel. Alright, so unfortunately, folks, the audio setting on my OBS didn't record when doing this right, so I had an HDMI that was uh, sending out some info to the G15, which I was recording, so I didn't want to record locally to impact the gaming performance. Uh, so what you're seeing here is maximum resolution, retina, and full um, maximum settings, HD, and it kind of hovers around 80 to 60 um, but essentially, you know, we started off that with that clip where I got the triple kill. I was setting up the league to work with the video game capture. It kind of messed me up in the beginning of the game. So I'm going to blame it on that, why we were down. Um, but yeah, I got that triple kill. I called the triple kill before it even happened. And then my friend was leaving the quadra kill, but I wasn't paying attention. Didn't even see it. Forgot that they had that. I don't even know the hero's name, the champion's name, where it goes inside people. I think it's Uni. So I missed that kill. So overall, if you are looking for a portable device that can play video games, League of Legends at least runs pretty well. And of course, during all of this, I am uh, downloading some stuff, downloading War Thunder, downloading Dota 2. So don't take this as like the benchmark to base everything off of, but this is like, hey, you're setting up everything. The first thing you download is League of Legends because you're addicted, you have to play. Discord's up, you're screen sharing with all your friends, and you just join a game immediately. You don't want to wait for everything else to finish download. Uh, this is the type of stuff, <laughs> this is the type of benchmarks you would get. It's pretty impressive, and of course, running off battery. Um, so after kind of playing this game and doing all this stuff, it actually went down to 50% uh, battery life, um, which said it was about seven hours. And I did see earlier when I was checking, um, it went to uh, 14 hours before I started gaming on it. So that's pretty good battery life. And let's just segment into kind of that topic and stuff of the nature. All right, so as you can see, I lost the game and I blame it all on the MacBook 2 M2. So if you're a serious gamer, you don't want to get this machine. In fact, just stick with a Windows computer or get something else. In fact, I need the M1 Pro or the M1 Max. I didn't have enough frames per second. Uh, but in all seriousness, um, it was pretty good for gaming and you can see here I had seven hours left so you could probably play like a good I would say from the start if I wasn't downloading everything and getting all these apps set up I mean I have uh, fiber here so I'm getting like 50 megabytes per second it's downloading and writing to the speed at that rate and writing really quick because I have the one terabyte version so I'm not limited by that as well um, you know still getting 80 FPS so pretty good um, from my perspective of gaming, of course, I did uh, note or I believe I mentioned that I got some choppiness and spikes when playing. Of course, it's not the pro motion, but if you're fine playing at 60 FPS, which I think some people, you know, if you get a Windows laptop, you get 165 hertz like my uh, G15 that I recommend. Or if you want to do MacBook gaming, you know, the M1 Pros and M1 Maxes, 14 inch and 16 inch do pro motion 120 frames per second. Um, so that could be something to consider uh, but general impressions is that you could get really good gaming so you could probably go through a full day on campus if you're a college student full day on campus and then maybe some if you're waiting between classes um, you know study for 30 minutes and then play one game and then keep studying or else you're going to fail classes and uh, don't be bad <laughs> um, but yeah that's my my take on gaming and then general use so i actually the previous video I recorded, I did in Final Cut. I'm actually editing this video in Resolve because I had some multiple, uh, yeah, cannot speak multiple audio that I wanted to take a glance at, but it's kind of weird to do it in Final Cut, so I actually prefer editing in Resolve. I'll get Resolve downloaded on the M2 and maybe do like a video editing uh, take on that. 
Uh, but basically, Final Cut ran pretty well. All right, so what I wanted to bring up here as a final note is that I've downloaded over 150 gigabytes of content already when I was testing that stuff. So just keep that in mind, again, for these performance things. So really, this is real-time footage of me dragging in my previously uploaded video, which was just the unboxing video. I recorded this, um, again, not on the device of the M2, but I recorded this on the G15. Uh, but I am just got it over to my Windows using an SD card and then... Um, went to just test out on 1080p and nvenc nvidia encoder and just testing out how it edits um, i will say it was pretty smooth thanks to the hardware um, acceleration and i i guess one thing from a practical standpoint is that i have to use the dongle of course because the m1 pro 14 inch and 16 inch have an sd card whereas um this M1, M2 version of the MacBook Air doesn't. And of course, my gaming computer doesn't have one either. So of course, I have to use a dongle on that one as well. The Zephyrus G15 comes with a mini SD card for some reason. Um, but yeah, performance seems smooth on Final Cut. I will further test uh, any other video games you guys leave in the comments, and I'll test OBS streaming. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.